today I am literally in my swimsuit. It has been so incredibly gorgeous this week that all I've been wanting to do... Do I hear a child? Okay. One picture. He wants to take a picture too, except say hi. Hi. Okay, what are you supposed to be doing right now? You want to do something? Okay. Say hi. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs> okay, how old are you now? I'm at three. Three. Was it just your birthday? Yes. Yes? Did you get presents? Yes. Did you get cake? Yes. What kind of cake did you ask for? Um, strawberry one. A strawberry cake with what on top? Um, M&M's. M&M's. So mommy made a strawberry cake with M&M's. Okay. Now you need to go back to your bed, okay? Say bye. To... Say bye. Mommy, I want to okay. hold something. I, you know, you've seen thumbnails. He thinks he needs to hold something up and take a picture for the thumbnail. Okay, let's smile. One, two, three, cheese. Okay. <laughs>
and I have that a little bit on the outer portion of my lid here, just a little bit. I just kind of wanted to use as many of these as possible today. Um, and the next one is In the Spotlight. This was part of the original launch. Um, this is another gorgeous um, champagne-y type lid shade, but it's, it's, a, it's darker. So that is In the Spotlight. And then that one is the Starry Eyed, which is lighter. So I have this. Where do I have this today? Um, primarily in like the center of my eyes here. So that is in the spotlight. It is just, it's beautiful. It looks a little bit more peachy in, in the pan than it truly is. It, it definitely shears out a little bit more. But you could build it up to that if you want. So those are the three that I have kind of combined on my lid. These next three, um, I love purple. I love purple eyeshadow. If I'm going to wear color, that is the color that I gravitate towards. Something in the purple range. So, the first one's called Whimsical. This is your beautiful icy lilac shade. Absolutely beautiful on the lid. I feel like that's a theme, but it really is. It's a very cool toned, very icy. Um, gorgeous with, if you're going to do like, like a smoky eye and then pop this on your lid. Oh, I can't even. And you know what? Don't feel like you can only use these on your eyes. Absolutely use them as highlighter because you absolutely can. There's no reason why not. Um, and then because I got Whimsical, I had to get Daydreamer because I thought that together they would just make a really gorgeous, mm, shimmery, purpley eye. So this is Daydreamer. So this one's going to give a little bit more color. Nothing crazy though, but these, oh, these icy lilac colors. I love them. I absolutely love them. I feel like they brighten up your eyes. They just make them like pop majorly. Um, and then the last one that I picked up is called High Wire. And this is that silvery, let me swatch it here. It's like a silvery blue, icy blue silver color. Really gorgeous. And you know what? I feel like you can wear all of these together, like mix and match them. So that is the high wire shade right there so that's kind of like what i would deem lid shades now of course they do come in like darker colors and stuff but i primarily wear this type of shadow like shimmery stuff on my lid so that's what i wanted to get um those shades so let me just show you in my z palette how they look together and i think they just they're so pretty they're so easy to reach for and coincidentally isn't this the cutest little z palette ever I actually won this off of Instagram last summer because I follow Z Palette and I won. Like, I was like shocked. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, I never win stuff. And so I thought that was so cute. It's like smaller, great for travel. I usually take, um, what, when I'm traveling, I usually put whatever shadows I, I want in here or blushes. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you them all together. The next thing that I want to show you is if I could choose what my signature perfume would be. It would be this perfume. Um, a little backstory. I, I really don't ever share perfumes. I do have a specific taste in perfumes. I like things to be warm. I like them to be sensual. I like them to be have an alluring quality to them. I like them to have depth, whether it be like, I don't like things that are super florally. I don't like things too fruity. I like things that are just very feminine, very romantic. I like notes of amber and um, just like, I don't know. Those are just some of the words to describe my scent taste. But anyways, this specific perfume I had purchased for myself, um, not this bottle, but I've, I've had this several times over, um, many, many years ago. When I had gotten my first um, better paying job, I had bought myself um, one of these perfumes. Anyways, <sighs> such a long story. But anyways, recently, my husband surprised me and, and bought this perfume for me, put it in my makeup room. I came in here and it was sitting in the basket. I have all these baskets of all my different videos set up and it was sitting in one of my baskets and <gasps> I was so surprised because he doesn't, he lets me pretty much pick out the gifts that I want or just go shopping and stuff like that. He doesn't, he's not one to just go and pick out a gift for me. So when he got me this, this it makes it extra special. So it is this perfume. It is Burberry London, the original, um, let's see, Burberry, let's see, Burberry London, yeah, the original. And this is the 1.7 fluid ounce size. I love this perfume. This is Chelsea in a bottle. So if you ever wonder what does she smell like or what kind of scents does she like, it is this. This is my signature scent. I would say it is my favorite perfume that I own. 
favorite perfume I've probably ever tried in my life enough to repurchase it. I've bought several perfumes throughout my life and I've used them up but I've never repurchased them. This I've repurchased. So if you're looking for a perfume, try this. Um, I can't tell you all the notes in it right now because I have no clue. I'll either put it on the screen or put it down below for you to read but ugh, yes. So my favorite perfume, it's what I smell like right now. I absolutely love it. Okay, I have two hair products that you just need to buy. Seriously, I've been using them. I really, really like them. The first one is the Dry Bar Triple Sec. I used this this morning. I washed my hair three days ago, two days ago. I use this as like a dry shampoo, but it also gives your, your hair texture. It also gives your hair a ton of volume. If you want a lot of volume, then I would recommend dip it, you know, like putting your head upside down and spraying it and I spray it and then I just kind of go like this and like smush my hair around, let the product really get in there. Oh my gosh, it also smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so it says it refreshes with the smell, amplifies with the volume, texturizes, and it soaks up the oils. This stuff is amazing. Um, best like dry shampoo type product that I've ever used. No white cast, no white cast. Um, Seriously, really, really good stuff. So if you had to pick up anything, and like this is a product you for real are going to use every day. So love it, love it, love it. The other hair product that I've been using um, is this Bumble and Bubble Surf Infusion. It's an oil and salt infused spray for soft sea tossed hairs with sheen. And I have used this today. So like I said, this is this is not super clean hair. Um, so I curled my hair, and then I sprayed this... Um, onto my curls and I let it set and then I just kind of like separated all my curls with my fingers like so. It's not crispy. It's not crunchy. I have other um, sea salt sprays that you spray it into your hair and your hair is crispy. It's stuck together. It's crunchy. Like it might smell good but your hair is a hot mess. I have zero crunch. This is completely soft and tousled. My curls are completely held. I love this stuff. This stuff also it smells good. It smells kind of like sea salt or something. It's it's not, it's it's yummy. So anyways, the Bumble and Bubble Surf Infusion. It is summer. I got the beach waves going on and I'm going to be rocking this hairstyle a lot because it's easy. It holds for days. I use the Numi Reverse Wand. It holds for days. Days. Um, and then if you pair a good curling iron with good heat products that hold your curl, it I mean, you're going to be so happy, trust me. So it is worth it to invest in some good hair products because then you only have to do your hair a couple times a week versus every day or every other day. That's so annoying. <laughs> I feel you. So this stuff is also really good, and I would definitely say you want to try this. Oh, I have so much goodies to share. Okay, so um, a product I've been using every single night before bed is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It looks like this. Now, when I first purchased this, I thought this was going to be bigger. When I got the box and I saw how small it was, I was like, really? Because <laughs> this was kind of expensive. It was like $20-some dollars. But I bought this to replace the Bite Lip Mask because I hated the packaging on that. Love the product, hated the packaging. So I wanted to try something different for my night lip treatment. I do, um, every night I put something on my lips before bed because I like them to feel moisturized and hydrated. And if you're just going to be sleeping, you, you, something might as well be happening to your lips, you know? Um, so when your husband rolls over in the middle of the night and wants to kiss you, you know, like, princess, <laughs> not really. I don't like anybody to come within three feet of me. I even have a barrier pillow. Just ask my husband. This, this stuff, I've been using it every night and I've been using this for like two months now. I think I bought this shortly after the VIB sale or something. And I've only used that much and I've been using this at least four times a week, at least. So it, it, it looks small, but a little does go a long way. It has a very nice, big, comfortable wand. It's just a light oil that goes on your lip. Okay, so it's not like oil that is slippery and comes off. And it's not like it gets greasy all over like your pillowcase or anything. It really, your lips absorb it quite well. Um, it has no color, it's just clear. It also is really pretty as just a clear gloss. If you don't want to mess around with lipstick or anything like that, it feels really nice on the lips. The packaging is really pretty. The one thing that I would say is the downside is the smell. It kind of has that fake perfumey smell, which I'm not a fan of, but you can't, like, it doesn't stay that way and it, you can't necessarily taste it. It just smells that way. 
So that's the one downside. But other, other than that, I really do like it. I'm not like, oh my gosh, you need to buy this right now. But it's nice. It is very nice. It feels good. And I think that's all I have to say about this product. So, oh, so many things. What do we want to talk about next? All right, let's talk about these. So on, um, let's see, in May, a day in May, they have, Nordstrom had their Mascara Madness. I'm sorry I forgot to tell you about it or share it with you. It just, I was out shopping on the day that I knew it was going to happen, and um, it ended up being in-store only, not online, so I had to go to the store, which is nowhere near here. But anyways, I bought three mascaras. Um, I just, I'm going to show them to you now, because obviously I haven't used them yet, but I will be using them, and I'll give you my thoughts later. Um, but the first one I got is the YSL Mascara, ugh, the Shocking, Shocking Effect Faux Sales, I can't read. Looks like this. It's it's the YSL Shocking Mascara. Yeah, looks like so. So, um, I'm very specific with my wands, and I like certain kinds of formulas. And I've never tried this before, and the wand looked good, and so I'm hoping this is good. I need volume. I love volume. Um, today, I actually don't even have uh, false lashes on. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I love this mascara. Love, love, love. Why am I trying all these other ones? Just because, you know, but I know my fallback mascara is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes or the Mally Volumizing, but I do like the Tarte one better than the Mally, so slightly. Um, the other one I got is the La Volume de Chanel. I heard nothing but good things about this. I've had a sample of this in the past and I really liked it, so I wanted to try the full size. And this one was just like a shot in the dark, you know, you had to find a third mascara, you're walking around at all the different counters. And I decided to go with this. This is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Excess Exceptional Volume Mascara. If you tried this, does it, don't tell me if it sucks. <laughs> don't ruin the anticipation of opening it up and using it. But I'm hoping it's really good. The girl at the counter said she really likes it, but, you know, that's her job. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to share those with you. Next, oh my gosh, love these. Love, 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 love these. So my favorite... Um, formula of lip gloss is Buxom. I love the tingle. I love the coolness. I love how my lips look full. I love how it, like, it creates, like, this border when you wear this gloss that it doesn't go beyond, um, the Buxoms. Um, so those are my favorites. But I really like these. These I've never tried before, and I decided to just go ahead and do it. And so these are the Lorac Ultra Ego Lip Glosses, and I bought two shades. These are only $15, guys. That, I was shocked. Because, I mean, most of the glasses that I, the other ones that I like are in the $27 range. These are absolutely affordable, especially when Ulta gives their 20% offs. Or if you have points saved up, you can go and get some of these. But the one I'm wearing today is called Southern Belle. And I've been wearing this one a lot. I bought this peachy shade because I, it's summer. And I wanted something that was just kind of peachy. Like a peachy nude, easy brightening just really pretty so these smell amazing they taste amazing even my husband I was at, sitting in the car because the other one I'm going to show you is I was putting that one on we were out and about on Saturday and I was putting it on he's like "Ooh, that smells really good I'm like yeah and it tastes good too and the color is really opaque so let me swatch it for you on my hand uh oh, they're really nice guys I'm really shocked because I don't know I guess I didn't want to have too high of expectations for it, but it's really pretty, super glossy, not sticky. Not sticky, but it stays on. Not sure how they did that, but it's not sticky, but it stays on. So um, that is the Southern Belle shade. It's just like a peachy nude. And the other one's a rosy nude, and I really, really like this one. There's a third one I have my eye on, and it's called CEO, like CEO. Um, but this one is called Duchess, and it's like a rosy nude. I wore this on top of Max Whirl lipstick. If you missed that video on last Saturday, I had bought some of the new lipsticks from the MAC Matte Collection, Whirl being one of them, and I put this over that, and this pairs perfectly with that color. It lightens it up ever so slightly, especially if you just keep it in the middle. But this one's called Duchess. You need this color. This is like a rosy, sexy, I wore this with a smoky eye, and it was so so pretty. Um, this is going to be a lot lighter. You can see it on. This is going to give you some more depth, some more color um, to your lips. So yes, you should check out this formula because I know most people don't like that sticky gloss. However, 
If you wear this gloss outside and the wind comes, yes, your hair is going to get stuck in it. Just don't wear gloss when you're outside. <laughs> How can we prevent? We need like like a lip shield or something. Like you need to wear some sort of... <laughs> I don't know. All I know is that I'm really pleased with those glosses. I, I really am. And they smell and taste amazing. Alright, this next thing I actually didn't buy, but my friend bought it for me and I wanted to share it with you because I am wearing this on my decollete here today. <sighs> okay, so I put this, it's the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. It looks like this. Now, um, Nicole from Young, Wild and Polished was talking about this and that's where my friend Amy had heard about it. And so she bought one for me and one for herself, which was so sweet. Thank you, Amy. Um, and she, Nicole likes to put this on like her shoulders and her chest. It is gorgeous. I use this on my face, however, and I would not recommend doing that. Unless you don't mind... Unless you don't mind a little bit of glitter on your face, then I would stick this primarily on your body. It is gorgeous. A little tip. A little tip if you want to make your girls look bigger and fuller put a little bit of this in between here because when you make like a like a martini glass you know how it has like the the rim or the the glass and then there's like the skinny little thing so I learned this from drag queens you put it like right here and it makes things look fuller and and more voluptuous and all that good stuff but anyways this is gorgeous on the body does have glitter it's really golden super pretty you can just kind of like put it on and i'm just using a big sigma fluffy brush to do that it is so this is awkward but super super pretty and it gives your body um a lot of golden glitz a lot of glow some some bronze um i like i said i was using this on my face just to test it out and it leaves too much glitter for me um now if you just want like a little highlight or something that's fine but I didn't like to see glitter all over everything so I wouldn't use it on your face but absolutely gorgeous on your body. I mean it is summer after all and if you're outside and you, you're wearing a swimsuit or some sort of pretty dress, um, yes, yes, try this and it's really cheap. Um, it's from the drugstore so that stuff is really cool for the body. Finally got my hands on the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick and Melted Strawberry. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. This is a very brilliant, bright candy apple red. It makes you look like you just got done eating a very juicy strawberry. It is not for someone who's afraid of a bright red lip, but my gosh, if you could pick a red lipstick that was summery and sexy and just beautiful, simple eye, pretty little dress, bold red lip oh my gosh if you have blonde hair just buy this because you will look amazing <laughs> um but i'm i love these i love the Too Faced melted i think the product is fabulous it stays on your lips it's opaque color um really really great product i have quite a few of them and this is definitely going to be my summer go-to red shade because it is beautiful on so I've watched a few reviews on the new Urban Decay blushes. Seen them in the store, I've passed by them, I've swatched them. I finally decided to buy one of them. And I bought the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Blush. What shade do you think I got? The packaging is super cool. Um, it does get fingerprints on it, but whatever. Um, I'm making you guess. The inside has this cool little like metal um, thing. It's just very... Um, the hardcore whatever the word is i don't know i don't know i'm a loser when it comes to like, describing things um i bought bang isn't that a scary color i know but i'm wearing it so here's the deal with this this reminds me of say tom ford's flush or uh, Tarte's Natural Beauty, where it's a very brilliant color in the pan, but when you sheer it out, it's a very um, brightening color on the cheeks. It's very beautiful. Now, you do have to be careful because you can look like you have orange blush on if you do not blend it out. So, I initially applied it the other day with a duo fiber brush because of the pigment. It's very pigmented, like seriously very pigmented. It lasted all day, all day. So that's, what it, that's a heavy swatch of it. But if you blend it out, it just gives you that flushed look, which is why I like it, because it reminds me of Tom Ford's Flushed or Tarte's Natural Beauty, both are which, some of my favorite blushes on the cheeks, because of what they do, because of the contrast it creates between your cheeks and your eyes, it just makes your eyes pop, and just, it's like, um, 
Like if you look at your little child who's running outside playing and they come in and they have that flushed cheek look, it just adds color and life to them. That's what this kind of blush does. So, you know, as you age, you kind of lose that. So stuff like this, although it may look scary in the pan, I'm telling you, you put it on your face. So you can be like, wow, I have color in my cheeks again. I look like I have, you know, a four-year-old little girl again. So um, this is Bang. It is absolutely stunning. It really lasted on my cheeks all day. No lie. Like, I was really impressed with it. So... I would like to pick up another one of these um, if you have any recommendations for me. The other one I personally was looking at was um, Rapture or Fetish because they're very reminiscent of Nars Sin and Orgas or Nars Sin and Nars's um, Oasis, both of which I love those blushes as well. So yes, you need this. I think you need this specific color for summer personally. So that's why I bought it because I was like, it's summer, bright blush, really pretty brown skin. Yes. And I have four things left. One thing still has not yet come. I might I might share it in a different video, but let's just chit chat about these first. So the color of my nails, you're probably wondering what it is. Um, this is from Essie's new summer collection. And my camera shut off. So what was I saying? Um, the color of my nails um, is from Essie's new summer collection. It is called um, Private Weekend. It looks opaque on camera, but it has the smallest, most minuscule little sparkly glitter pieces in it. Um, does it translate? Mm, in the sun, you can see a little bit of it on your nails, but for the most part, it's pretty much just opaque. This is three coats. I think my base coat is getting bad and it's causing my nail polish to go on streaky and stuff. So I think I need to get a new base coat. But anyways, I think this is so fun for summer. I was wear wore this, um, I've been wearing this for the past couple days, and I love how the white nails just kind of elongate your fingertips. If you have short little fingers, like, lighter colors just kind of make them look longer. This is so fun. Like, this is definitely very summery, especially as your t skin gets more tan just having a white nail. I just like it. So anyways, Essie's um, Private Weekend. And then I got some purples. Aren't those fun together? Okay, so the first one's called Splash of Grenadine. No idea what collection these are from or when these were made or if they're permanent or anything. But you can always buy stuff off of eBay. If I cannot find it online, I'll write like in the description box to check eBay if it were limited edition or if it's been discontinued or whatever. eBay is always a great resource as well. So Splash of Grenadine looks like so. Perfect, like warmer, warmer purple. Warmer purple. This is a cooler purple. This one's called Playdate. I love this one. This looks so pretty with the white because it's cooler in tone. Love it. And then the last one I have here is called Don't Mess Mesa With My Heart. This is from China Glaze's Summer Collection. So this is new. Yeah, you might want to get this color too. It's just like a pretty pinky purple. Pinky purple? Kind of like a warm pinky purple. Really fun. So that is all that I have to share with you. Um, I don't think there's anything I'm forgetting. I usually do, but oh well. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks for chit-chatting with me today. If you enjoyed this, please share this video, like this video, subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you guys here. You guys mean so much to me, and I don't know if I tell you that enough, or maybe I should tell you more often, but I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all of your support. It just keeps me on trucking and just makes me want to come over here and chit chat more often. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll chit chat with you soon.